Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. For geoscientists, getting started with AI for the first time can be scary. And those who want to keep updated often don't have enough time. In recent years, machine learning and artificial intelligence have significantly evolved. And with that progress came a lot of new algorithms, workflows, open software and data, tutorials and courses for anybody to follow. As a result of the endless number of materials to follow, we may be stuck in analysis paralysis. We'll never know if the paper I'm reading or the course that I'm taking is the greatest. However, understanding recent breakthroughs in AI opened the doors to many opportunities that you would otherwise miss, as well as the ability to enhance productivity at your day-to-day -day work. As a group of EAG members and volunteers, including distinguished individuals from industry and academia, we strive to help geoscientists to identify the pieces relevant to them by contributing to monthly AI newsletter. We also don't want to overwhelm you with information. As a result, the newsletter format will be brief and to the point, with links to relevant information and quick overview with opinion from us. You can read the newsletter on the EG website and LinkedIn. Or you can watch a video version of the newsletter on this channel. I hope that it will equip you with knowledge and better tools to challenge the status quo and to make a difference in the work that matters. Ok, let's start with the content. AI for anyone. A 6-hour online lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. AI can quickly become overly technical. This non-technical course from deeplearning.ai is not intended for coders. It will help you understand AI technologies and spot opportunities to apply AI to problems in your organization. Even if you never develop or train a deep neural network, the chances high that you will work with one at some point. The next is the paper. Deep learning for geophysics, current and future trends. Suwei Yu and others of China's Harbin Institute of Technology wrote an excellent paper. The authors addresses the basic concept, state-of-the-art literature and future trends by reviewing deep learning approaches in various geoscience scenarios. They examine recent deep learning advancement in geophysics and propose future research directions. They also provide a brief coding tutorial. It is useful because deep learning is still in its early stages. Little tutorials and overview articles are published. This paper is a must read for both beginners and experts. TorchGeoR is a Python library that allows users to integrate heterogeneous geospatial data in deep learning pipelines built with PyTorch. The majority of the AI literature is concerned with RGB and grayscale images. But when working with geospatial data with a different number of spectral frequency bands or sampled in another coordinate system, it's not always obvious how to use image processing open source toolboxes. Now, they also provide a pre-trained models for a wide range of commonly used remotely sensed image sources. They are data loaders for common geospatial dataset from the literature to run things off. And the last one is the Planetary Computer Data Catalog, which contains petabytes of environmental monitoring data in consistent and easy interpretable formats. The majority of the data is satellite land cover and weather measurement. TorchGeo packages are useless without data, which this site provides. The Planetary Computer is a development of Microsoft's AI for Earth program which was introduced in 2017 and one of the company's sustainability projects. The emphasis is on preserving and protecting the world's biodiversity and ecosystem health, though an ambitious program to aggregate environmental data worldwide. Microsoft hopes to put data and digital technologies to work. There are numerous Jupyter Notebooks examples available. Thanks for watching. You are welcome to join EG Artificial Intelligence Group on LinkedIn. See you next time.